Okay, so I want to answer two questions first. One is that why didn't I start at the beginning um, of the track? Why didn't I start way back here? I don't know, actually. That's just a weird habit. Um, you don't need to start at the beginning. Sometimes I just like to have some space to work since I don't think this is going to be the beginning of the track. So um, I like to jump in in the middle and then kind of pull it apart from that and work on the arrangement of the track later. So I might go back to the beginning later, but even if your track doesn't end up starting at the beginning of the session, that's kind of fine. You don't need it to. Um, so it's just a habit. You can start at the beginning if you want. Second question is, um, should we do more piano stuff before doing the sound design? Normally, probably. Normally, I'd probably do a little bit more harmony work before I switch to sound design, but um, I kind of just want to show you my process. So we're going to go to the sound design step now. So sound design is just a fancy word for synthesis and playing around with synthesizers. That's all it really is. So we're going to pick a synthesizer to go on this that fits the sound I want. Now this can be a big problem for some people because there's so much stuff in live that you can just end up digging through synth patches all day long. And it can be, um, what's that word? There's a term for this, like paralysis of ideas, right? You can have so many ideas, so many different things can sound cool that you're like, I don't know what to do. Um, there's just too many options, right? So that's where collections comes into play, all right? So I can go here and go to synths. I can even close up my filters. Let's say, what's going to sound cool? You know, I know this DX7 library that I have sounds great for synthwave stuff. Now, I kind of don't want to use it because I should use some of the Ableton instruments because that's what we're doing in this class is learning how to use Ableton. So let's go to Drift. Um, Drift is a new instrument. We'll go over like how this works in a lot of detail later. But let's just look at some of the presets for now. That's pretty cool. So if you find yourself in the position that I am in now, where you're just going through a whole bunch of presets and saying, you know, what's going to work here? Instead of doing that, try putting into words the sound that you're looking for. I'm looking for a dark sound with some motion to it. Okay. Kind of like that. It's a dark sound. It's got some motion, some wobbliness. Let's try it. So I'm just going to drag that over onto this track and let's hear it. Okay, I like it, but this instrument uh, is a slowly evolving one, and my MIDI clip is designed for piano where it's like right on. Okay, so I need to slow down my chords, which is easy to do. If I double click, click on the clip, select all, and then X2. Open it up. Okay. Now my each chord takes twice as long. Okay. If you didn't see what I did there, I just went into the piano roll editor, command A to select all, and then X2 just stretched it all out for me. Okay. Let's open up my loop brace a little bit longer. And now let's hear it. <laughs> that it's still not letting the whole thing speak as much as I want so let's try going up an octave so I'm gonna hit command a in the piano roll editor and then shift up arrow okay now let's 